a brutish amnesiac on a classic hero's journey of growth and discovery. If you enjoy pulp fiction movies from the 1980s, then Horos, Monster Slayer and Lover of Many, is the game for you. Available for PC, Mac, SteamOS, and Linux on Steam. While you can play this game entirely as a visual novel, I highly recommend you play it in its turn-based RPG format. You have the ability to decrease or increase the difficulty at any time, and the monsters level up as you do. But you can expect to beat the game in around 4 hours on easy mode. There are multiple endings, and certain scenes require different playthroughs, so the replay value is pretty decent. Graphically, the game looks okay. For anyone who has played Less Than a Passion games before, the character design will feel very similar. There are animations of the sexual interactions with sound, and many of the scenes have optional aspects and flavors to choose from. It really feels like the Wish version of Conan the Barbarian, but with elves added in. That does make this a male protagonist harem adventure with romance, lesbian, group, monster girls, magic, BDSM, and power exchange, with optional femdom, feet, notori, and sharing depending on the choices you make. There is also some violence and gore in the combat and in some of the scenes. Honestly, I'm on the fence about this one. Horos, Monster Slayer, and Lover of Many was more fun for me than its ridiculous title suggested. I'd say go for it if this game was longer, but if you really like campy movies like Kroll or The Beastmaster, then you'll probably have a good time. I mean, Horos is definitely better than Beastmaster 2 through the portal of time, but then what isn't? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.